Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Rail Route Alpha Let's Play. Here we are with our system from last time, and if you didn't see the video from last time, there is a link to the playlist in the video description. And if you like my playlists, you can see a list of all of my playlists on my website, masterhellish.net. But let's crack on. So, you can see that recently I've been listening to Move Mania, apparently, as I adjust my volume in my headset. And uh, this is the situation uh, we have right now. We've got a number of trains on what I'm going to call this eastern branch uh, between Benning and Rivendale. East Market creeps in every now and then. And it's working out okay. We are very good at getting trains out of Platform 2 of Rivendale and then bringing them back on Platform 3. That's good. I like that. We're, we're fine. Now, last time, towards the end of the episode, we did try and get a Brentwood to Benning service going, and in the end, I got it right, but we've got no money now. Uh, we've got a grand. So we've got a thousand monies. It's our money. We need to spend it wisely, apparently. And we've got four experience points. Now, these are standard experience points. The red ones are advanced experience points, which we can use for system upgrades. And we mentioned this last time. So if I have a quick look at the system upgrades, I would like the... Where is it? Just basic tracks, tunnels, auto blocks. No. I would like to be able to reverse trains. But that's going to cost me one advanced experience points, which I can't get yet. Uh, we can't have the advanced ones until later on. Now, I think we have to unlock the experience points. And it says here uh, you can do, uh, you get one or two standard experience points for recurrent contracts. And you can get the advanced ones for either one off freights, one off IC, which I think means intercity, and one. Uh, contracts from the coach uh, yard so I think we need to look out for any one-off contracts for now because we're not getting into coach yards just yet so let's have a look in the contract to see what we've got okay let's have a look now one of the things I haven't been doing that I probably should is decline some of the contracts because they get offered incrementally and um, we have to either accept or decline them before new ones get added so all of the ones we've got in the list currently um, require us to have a new station and we haven't really got the money to buy a new station or put a new line in so for now we're going to decline every single one of them clear out our contracts and wait for a new one to come in uh, so we'll just close that off and we'll wait until there's a little symbol next to that and we'll just make sure everything's running good. Okay, so we've got uh, a train here. Uh, we need to clear it to come down to platform two. Is it running late? It's No, it's actually on time. And the other train got back fine. Brilliant. Okay, so all our trains are doing well. We've got a commuter train inside our block there heading into Benning. And I think what we're going to do with this network is towards the beginning of the network we're going to we're going to only have the lines that we need for the contracts that we're taking out and then later on we'll try and make it a little bit more generic so it's more efficient so instead of having like seven lines trying to do seven different jobs we try and maybe have five lines that are a bit more generic that can handle all seven jobs we'll see now so at the moment we are just managing the contracts and trains that we have and waiting for new ones because we don't have the money to do anything else so we're going to speed up time a little bit and we've got this contract coming in here this train will probably need reversing and it wants to go back to Brentwood Oh, hang on a second, is this... Oh, it went to Brentwood twice. Yeah, we're going to probably decline this contract. We're going we're gonna to reject it already. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any penalisation, so we're just going to reje reject that contract. It's not something that we want to have. Uh, 
Uh, not quite sure what's going on here. But there we go. We've, we've got the train moving. Uh, we need to get this one reversed. I really want to be able to automatically... Oh my goodness, this, these trains are starting to back up. I've, we're going to have late penalties if we're not careful because I've been messing around with the contracts. We're going at five times speed. Oh, it's a freight! Oh my goodness, it's going to go to the wrong place. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, how do I get it to go back again? Can I just stop it at this light and reverse it? Yes, reverse. Oh, no. Right, we'll let that commuter train through. When's the next train coming at Riverdale? Okay, we're all right for trains at Riverdale at the moment. And hopefully this train will just... I don't know. I don't think it will stop at that light. It will go through that light, won't it? Back into the station. So we have to wait for the train to stop before we can then send it back out again. Which is fine. We've got a few more minutes before the next train's due anyway. So once the train's... Oh no, it's disappearing. Bye! <laughs> oh, that was minus four. Okay, that was a big mistake. I need to pay more attention to that. What's happening over here? Okay, that train's just going to finish and disappear. Ah, right, contracts. Pause game. Space bar. Right, so we've got a Riverdale Benning Brentwood. Stops at every station. Ooh, okay. Riverdale Benning Brentwood. That would be a good one to do. It's only up to 1,000, though. That's not very good paying. Riverdale Benning Riverdale. We could probably slip that in the timetable at some point. So we'll just hold on to that contract for now. And when there's a space in the Riverdale, um, we'll do that. I'm not so sure about this top commuter one up here because we'd have to probably change something. And I think really what we'd do is just put it so that trains can come out from platform two down here for now. Uh, we haven't really got the money for that. So that that could be a good contract, but we're not doing it just yet. Okay. We've only got one train on screen at the moment, and it's just about to leave. But in a few minutes' time, I think our next trains are due to arrive at um, Riverdale. And we need trains to get money. There we go. Here's our first, next train. So our, we're automatically dispatching from all of our stations at the moment, I think. Yep, we are now. So this train we can... Oh, no, 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 no. That's the freight line. There we go. We can set the green light going there. And we can set the green light going there. That's fine. So when it's ready, it can just leave. We can fast forward a little bit. Wait for it to want to leave. We've got another contract, so let's go have a look at that. Oh, we've got a few more contracts. Okay, so we've got... A request. Now these ones require us again to build a station, so because we're lacking money, I would love to build a new station somewhere else, but we're lacking money at the moment, so we're going to ignore them. In fact, we'll decline them. And we've got another one, Riverdale, Benning, Riverdale. So we've got two Riverdale, Benning, Riverdales. This one pays really well though. This one pays much better. So we'll decline the top one. And we'll keep this one ready for when we've got a gap in the timetable. Right then, so yeah, we'll save that contract for now, and we'll probably get the contract running at about 10.35, probably. We've got room in the schedule for it. And we haven't got money, so let's fast forward. We're just going to do a bit of fast forwarding and a bit of, bit of money gathering right now. Oh, here we go, here's the next train. So that train we can, uh, presumably is going to platform two, yep. So we'll clear that one already. And we'll switch that, turn that train around. Trains can only be turned around while stationary. So there we go. And we can already clear you to return. So we're doing quite well there. Look at that. And as soon as that train's out of the way, we can clear the other train to go through. See, this is how we are at this schedule. Now, it's coming up to 10.35. And I think it's about time we accepted that contract. But we've got two more contracts. So I'm just going to let that run just for a few more seconds and let's check those contracts. So we've got a 
Landover, which we're not building new stations yet, so we'll decline that. And then we've got another Rivendale, Ben in Rivendale, but it is too it's not it's not a lot of money. In fact, this one up here, this this Riverdale Benning Brentwood one, it's really, really rubbish. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that one. And we'll accept this one. And we'll accept it right now. And we'll get the train to come out onto platform two. And we'll clear it. Ooh, not that one yet. We'll clear it to go to the first signal right away. So hopefully we can get all of these trains moved around in a nice pattern. So that one comes out, that one completes, that one starts, that one comes to there. I can switch that, switch that to green. That one's come out of the station, that can go green, and everything is hunky and dory. It's a good contract, this one, I think. We're about to have another train come, I think, but we can set that one to green already. And this one can't be green yet, but that one can. Oop, that train needs reversing. There we go. Same sort of pattern happening over and over here. We've already declined this contract. This line that we built now, pointless. At the minute. <laughs> For now. We, we can use it later and when we accept contracts. Okay. Uh, yep. That's all. Oh, we've got a freight train to come through. This is going to be difficult to do within these contracts. But what we'll do is we'll let the freight train wait there. And we'll clear this commuter train to get out of the way. We'll clear that one to go into platform 3. And as soon as this one's out of the way, we'll switch the tracks to allow that one into 3. Because I'm almost certain this commuter... Sorry, this freight one wants to go to platform 3. It does. Switch that one ready to come out. Now, we completed that one. And it says it wants to do 1,000... Uh, sorry, 2,500 uh, out of 500. So... Yeah, I mean, the maximum average speed was 78 mile an hour, and this one was 32. It's because the tracks are so basic at the moment. But we'll accept that anyway. And then we can knock these signals back and clear the next train already. And then that one can go through because platform 3 is ready. And this commuter train we can turn around at the end of the platform. And it's going to be clear. There we go. Fantastic, brilliant. We should have a new train arriving soon. And we've got loads of... Oh, we need to... That platform's clear, so we can let that one go through. We need kind of like new auto block signals, but I'm sure that sort of stuff will be coming soon. So it's just a bit of management. And with a bit of management, we've ended up with ten and a half grand in our pocket, which is quite nice, and loads of new contracts to check out. So let's have a look at them. Okay, it would be nice to do kind of like a similar thing at between uh, Brentwood and Benning to like to have a train go one way and then what come back again. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go and whether we can get diagonals through here. How much is that one? That's quite good actually, up to six thousand. The speed's quite high. This one's 7,000, but it's an intercity one, and platforms we don't have yet. Not interested in new platforms just now, so we'll decline that. Oh, that one's to th up to 10 grand, but we'll decline that as well. Uh, Benning, uh, Riverdale, Benning, Brentwood, up to 2 grand, decline, that's too cheap. This one will, at 3 grand, we'll keep this. It's a bit of contract management going here. Let's see if we can improve this line and do a similar thing to what we've done on the other side. So over here we split out, we have a junction straight out of the platform. And we come into this block here. And the idea here I think is to try and diagonal up straight into this. So we can actually come up to here. See we can't hit that so I guess... We'll go back there and do that. And then... This one, no money. <laughs> we've lost all. We've lost all our money. Um, it's fine. It's fine. You can see where I'm going with this. Uh, it's a similar thing to here, where we've got two separate lines. I mean, this one's a bit weird because we've got the East Market one as well. 
Oh, it doesn't need to link. Oh, we need a separate platform. So we go in one way and then out the other. Yes. So we need to be able to buy that platform and also connect this up here. Fine. Brilliant. Let's carry on. We can we can do this. And then I think we don't really need signals here because of the junction blocks. I think it kind of comes with them. We might need a signal before platform one. Anyway, right, let's continue. What have we got coming up? Bearing in mind we've only got things over here. We have got an opportunity here where we could potentially fit another train in. So let's try... Oh no, both of these contracts are for the same Brentwood Benning Brentwood ones. We'll keep both of them. We'll keep both of them. Let's carry on. So this commuter needs turning around and approving all the way through. Why won't it? There we go, it's turned around now. And the next one from platform two can go straight out. There we go, we got we got the money. We just gotta make sure that it's not the freight train that we let straight out. But I, I can see the freight trains on the list, I think. Okay, turn that train round straight into platform three. And the next train to come is another commuter, so I'll approve it to go straight out to whatever signal we're calling this one. This commuter needs to be reversed. Please, I need auto-reversing. We'll get that soon. We'll get it soon. Okay, so money is flowing back in can we now purchase oh it's eight grand wow i mean that platform's only two grand so if we buy the platform and actually split here after the junction yeah let's do that for now buy the platform and sell this track here and join that there then I could do with a manual signal, but I don't know where. And also, this line probably needs to be one longer. Oh, I didn't mean to put a signal there. Ah! Right, track to here, and then up to there. Delete that bit. That allows me to put a signal in here. Okay, so in theory, we can accept these new contracts now to go between these two. So let's wait until like 11.20 on the hour or something, and then we'll do that. Right, what we got going on? Oh, we got a freight train wanted to come through. That's fine. Double check. Yep, you're going up to East Market. This train got a little bit delayed, but don't worry. That one, it's probably going to catch up its delay by coming straight through now. Right then, so it's 11.20 and I'm going to deploy some of these contracts. So we're going to accept this Brentwood one. We're going to get it to come out on platform two. And we're going to clear it to go all the way. Right, let's reduce the speed a little bit so that I can deal with everything. Next one at Riverdale is a commuter to Benning, so we can improve that one straight through almost. Oh, this is this is starting to get a bit funny now. Okay, uh, we have got money though, so we, we might be able to buy this block here and make this much more efficient. And then when it gets to 11.30, we'll accept the next contract that comes this way. So let's just check, see what we've got. So we've got another Brentwood Benning, that's good. We've got a Cumbulumbia Riverdale one. Okay, so it wants to kind of go from up here, down, round there, through here, through there. Oh, that would cost me 8, 16, 20, 80. That's nearly 20 grand's worth of stations and stuff without the track so decline riverdale columbia brentwood again no no right okay 
let's continue. It's looking good, everything is looking fine. Yeah, so far I'm happy. Now this commuter train here is going to need turning around. And it's going to need approval to go all the way back into its first place. Uh, there's another commuter train. That one's okay. We can approve that one to go all the way through. Clear the tracks. Now are we at... Oh, we're at 11.30. Yeah, we'll accept that other contract. Brentwood, Benin, Brentwood again. So accept that on platform two again. And we'll see if we can get the same sort of thing going here from both sides, which would be nice. So let's approve that one to go up to this junction. It's going to have to wait, though, for this other train to get out of the way. Oh, my goodness, I need to reverse this one. It was in the way. This one might get late now. Just reversing, changing, swapping, everything's fine, I'm telling you. That one got delayed because the line wasn't available. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, contract successful. Wow, 3,000. Yep, yeah, we'll have that. So that's good. We're going to have some more contracts coming through soon. So Riverdale and Brentwood at the minute are our feeders, and we're doing okay on that. That's definitely a commuter one. That one needs reversing. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Can I... I'd like to be able to... Oh, can I click off trains quite easily? Let's check. Reverse that train. Click once. Yeah, it's just my clicking that needs improvements. Oh, need to... Nope, no, 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 no. Yep, there we go. Make sure I've got all this sorted out. We've got our freight train coming through again, so... I'm sure we'll be able to deal with that very soon. Yep, there we go. That's all good. Wow. Uh, overall, I think we're all right. Overall, I think we're doing okay. Uh, that one goes there. There is a lot to do at the minute for me, though, here. And I kind of wish that I had a lot more automation, but we'll need to get some uh, special experience points to be able to deal with that. So, oh my goodness, there's more trains coming. Okay, contracts. What's the contracts like? No specials yet. I wonder if I have to unlock something in order to get those one-off contracts. Let's have a look at the unlocky screen. So, contracts. Ah, here you are, look. Right, so... We unlock freights. One-time freight. Red experience point. That's what we need. We need one of them. Uh, intercities, new contract type, one time intercity, red experience point. They're the ones that we need, and you know what? We can unlock both of them. So I'm going to do the freights. Do I do the intercities as well? Ugh. I've got the experience points for it. Platform adjustments, change the platform of a train. That's only really if I make a mistake, I think, for now. Yeah, you know what? We're going to upgrade that as well. So there we go, folks. This time, we've expanded our network ever so slightly and started accepting contracts on the west side of our network. And I'm very happy with it at the minute. There's definitely some upgrades we're going to do. I'll do that quickly before the end. But we're going to be getting new one-off contracts next time, which is exciting. So let's do the upgrades then. First upgrade we're going to do is we're going to buy this... Uh, I, can't, I can't remember what it's called, but we're going to buy that. And we're also then going to go and delete that signal, this, and we're going to connect the junction here. We need to probably get some faster track as well. And we will just get rid of that bit and that bit. And we'll do it so it comes diagonally out and in like that. There we go. Now, the good news here is that we can use the existing junction block signals 
to queue our trains up to going into Benning and coming out of Benning. So that, that's brilliant. And the same thing kind of for going into Brentwood. But I feel like maybe just like one more signal here before we go into the station so I can queue a train right there would help. So now we've got those two systems in place. I'm quite happy with that. Let's have a look at the contracts, what we got. So we're not expanding into new platforms just yet. So let's just clear out those two. Uh, these ones are for up to a grand each. I'm not accepting something for up to a grand. That's a terrible price. Uh, we've got a commuter for up to two grand. Uh, Riverdale, Benning, Riverdale. Now, you know what? We're up, we're more up market than two grand. Let's let's just get rid of that. We've got plenty of contracts for now, and I think we will leave it there. Join me next time to get these one-off contracts coming through our network, and yeah, I I think we're going to be looking pretty good. You know what? You know what? I am just for the purpose of one-off contracts going to connect that like that and that like that to allow us to use those platforms to get through it shouldn't we should only need it for the one-off contracts there we go there we go i'm happy with that i will see you next time thanks for watching take care and for now goodbye <laughs>